All right, so they have some precautionary information here. This is their pricing. Several discounts available. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trippin'. I am on the campus of the Santa Fe College in Gainesville. And I'm at the Santa Fe College Teaching Zoo. This is the only AZA accredited zoo that is on a college ground in the United States. This offers a fantastic opportunity for the zookeepers to learn all about the animals with actual on-the-job training with real animals in a real working zoo. It's a 10-acre property, not huge, but it is fantastic from what I've seen so far that I've read online. I've wanted to come here for a while, finally got the opportunity. You can see I'm not wearing a hat. There were, unfortunately, were no hats available. Gift shop right up in the front. Inside building is not open due to the current situation, but they do have booklets out front that let you look through all their available items that they have. If you see something that you like, they will go and get it for you. But they were sold out of hats. Happens sometimes, but it's a nice overcast day. You see, I just got a haircut finally. My hair was starting to get a little, little crazy. So, gonna take a look around this property. I'm excited to be here. Unique opportunity to speak with some of the actual zookeeper staff that are here training. Nice selection of animals from what I understand. So, let's get started. Here's the map, here we go. <laughs> There we go, white throated capuchin. This is their habitat. Just saw one stick his head out. It said all the animals have access to go to their evening habitat. So I'll check back right before I leave. This is right near the front. Hope to get a view of them. Got the Surfitarium building. And look at Eastern Diamondback and Rattlesnake. I think we got two of them in here. Well, it's definitely a little bit bigger. We got green and black poison arrow frogs. You guys hop all around. There's one of them. And we got a corn snake. My corn snake is right inside. Yes, the one corn snake is here. One of the zookeepers has one of the juvenile corn snake in her hand. We got ornate diamondback terrapin. There's several of these turtles right in here swimming around. There they are. Just swimming all around. And of course, as I'm here with the camera, they're all going to be behind everything. There we go. There we go. Now he's coming up a little closer to us. A dusky pygmy rattlesnake. So I was trying to find him. He's right in the back here. Right there. There's a dusky pygmy rattlesnake. And we got a prehensile tailed skink. Look at this guy's right in the front by the glass. Yeah, right, we got Gila Monster. Our healer monsters in the back. Trying to get a better view of them. Get a common musk turtle. There we go. Cool looking. 
Got a broad-nosed caiman. Go. All right, we've got an American alligator right in here with the broad-nosed caiman. So one here in the front is the caiman. And then in the back is a young American alligator. We got Florida softshell turtle. Go. All right, Florida box turtle. Let's look at there, saw a little, little small one. All right, we got the West African dwarf crocodile. Go. That's a cute little guy. Mission here what you can do if you encounter a snake. I'm zoo enrichment. Some of the things they do with the animals. That's the habitat for a gopher tortoise, and I do not see him right now. He did have some rain a little bit earlier, and his zoo just opened, so it's possible they are not out yet. So I'm going to follow the trail. Now, this is nice. Follow the boardwalk path now. This is nice, got the different ecosystems. Our friends of the Florida wetland. Look at the dragonflies. And bullfrogs. Water snakes and Virginia opossums and polluted woodpecker. And we got American alligator. And the fun part is trying to find the alligator. Unless it is submerged, we we'll usually see a couple eyeballs and a snout sticking out of the water. As the rest of the alligator is typically on the bottom, either held up by their hind legs or their tail. So, I do not see him at the moment, so I will stop by again. Staff are in here cleaning up. This is a small clawed otter habitat, so I'll stop by a little bit later once it's all clean and ready for them. Got black crowned night heron. Cool to see them out. These three are the spoonbill. Of course, they got their heads tucked in because the I think it's a little chilly for him. This really nice pond. Got several ducks are in here as well. This is a redhead duck. Very aptly named. We got several white ibis in the back. This is called a cattle egret. Right, red billed hornbill. Or at least attempting to a couple of times. So we're hopeful for some, some hornbill babies. <laughs> the 
They're definitely cute little birds. I know, they're like the ones from Lion King. Yeah. Wow. Oh, they are so cute. There you go. <laughs> Popping the food door. All right, we got a bald eagle. There we go. And I know you're used to seeing bald eagles with the white feathers on top of their heads. But that is not always the case. Beautiful bird. Now usually when you see a bald eagle at a zoo, they are here because they have an injury that prevents them from living out in the wild. Magnificent bird. Alright, we got some white-handed gibbon. I just saw the tree and they're moving around. So now there's one in here. I'll try to find him for you. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hey, buddy. There we go. Wow, just hanging there. Literally hanging out. Get white-handed gibbon conservation. Man, this guy's getting some exercise. Oh, there we go. Moving all around. You can see the gibbon there, it's making all the hooting and hollering. The juvenile of the gibbons. Woo. So all the pathways are nice and wide. It's all mulch except for the boardwalk areas. Lots of zookeepers are around to answer any questions you have. We got some emu. Uh. Hi, emu. Uh. There's the emu. He's coming over. Hi, emu. How are you? Uh. Hi. Hello. Uh. How are you today? Well, thank you so much for coming over to me. I appreciate that. Thank you. How are you? How you doing? These are such nice birds. Got to pet one of these guys before. Got to feed them. Yes. You're a very nice bird, aren't you? Yes, you are. It's like you're missing some feathers around your neck. I was just told that they have a new female on the back. And this guy keeps rubbing up against the fence and rubbing all his feathers off his neck. But they are monitoring it. He doesn't appear to be injured. Apparently he likes the color blue, which would explain why he came running up to me when I first came over here earlier, because I have a blue jacket on. Very cool bird though. Oh boy, my favorite zoo bird, the laughing kookaburra. Absolutely love these birds.
Got a second bird in here. I just love the look of them. If you're lucky enough to hear them when they are chatty, it makes it even better. Oh, where have we got a guinea turco? Very nice. And hawk headed parrot. Now the birds have heat lamps in their enclosures so they're able to stay warm. We're going to top them on the heat boxes. So it is a little bit chilly right now, just a close to 60 degrees. Right, we got some guanaco. They also have red-footed tortoise in the same habitat, but it's most likely a little too chilly for them. Most of the other tortoise species around property have been not readily seen. This is the guanaco. See, there are zookeepers all around. All the zookeepers on the premises are students. Trying to get you a better view. And it keeps moving around. It was on the other side and I came back on this side. And he moved around again. Golden Conure. Wow, look at these beautiful colored birds. A little bit of green on their feathers, on their tips of their wings. Got a yellow crowned Amazon. Santa Fe College teaching zoo helps save species. Some animals they are helping. Zookeepers are. You have a little playground here and plenty of benches. All right, we got some barred owl. Another lovely type of bird. It's the squirrel monkey habitat. There's a sign here that says it is too cold for the squirrel monkeys to be out. So I will not be able to show you them hopping around, but this is what they look like. Safety of the animals is the most important thing. Ocelot. I do see the ocelot in there. Here we go. You can see they do have access to go into the back or come out as they choose to. You 
got a red rough lemur. Right by heat lamp. Understandable. And there is one of the zookeepers here. About to give them their food. There we go. So the animals are trained to go to a certain area. Positive reinforcement. Hey. Before the protection of the animals, certain path areas are temporarily closed off. And they do have plexiglass as well to help protect the animals from the current situation that we are all going through. Some animals are more susceptible than others. The animals that are susceptible to it, they receive additional safety precautions such as what I just mentioned, plexiglass. Safety in animals is the most important thing. Where have we got Cuban Amazon? There's some pretty birdies too. So entrance into all the aviaries is temporarily unavailable. But you can usually get a good look of some of the birds from outside of the aviary. Yellow crowned Amazon. Dude, this bird's got the right idea. It's right by the heat lamp. Alright, Asian small clod otter. Alright. Habitat got a fresh cleaning. Refilling up all the water. So it's nice and clean for him. Oh my gosh. Look at the little otter pups. That one is very interested in the water. Any otter pups? Yay! I-75 right behind this habitat. That's the traffic that you hear. Look at him! Love how cute they are. These fuzzy little critters don't care about the cold. Cold for Florida standards. And all you people that live up in the northern states that are dealing with all the snow and the ice, 60 degrees is nothing. All right, so Florida box turtle. This is its habitat. Now, I do not currently see them. They are inside this habitat but they can dig down and because of the chilly weather more than likely not going to be available to show you also possibly in a box here came back to the bold eagle I scared him earlier. Yeah, 
Here's a good view of the spoonbill. There we go. See a very aptly named spoonbill. Comes the third one. Gotta come over and see what the other ones are doing. There we go. Oh, gotta stick together. Whoa. Man. Man, that one's a bully. Fun with otters. So the crapacha monkey is out. Alright, so I am officially outside of the teaching zoo property so I can take my face mask off. I had a really nice time here. Not a huge property, but the important thing is that it is a teaching zoo. All of the staff here are students. There are a few exceptions as, you know, as far as instructors and things like that, but primarily all of the zookeepers are student zookeepers. It's a fantastic opportunity for them to further a career and become zookeepers if they choose to do so at other nationally accredited zoos around the country. As I stated earlier, this is the only AZA accredited zoo at a college campus in the United States. I think that's awesome. Now there were only a few animals that I didn't get to show you only because of the cold temperature. A few of the paths closed off also because of the current situation we're all going through for the safety of the animals. I did go back numerous times for the alligator. I did not see the alligator, so it's possible he was either underwater and I just didn't see him. But we've all seen alligators before. Did get to show you the smaller alligator with the caiman, so we at least got to see alligator, just not the big ones. So. If you like what you saw, give my video a nice thumbs up. Let me know that you enjoyed the video. Leave me some comments down below what your favorite animal here was. Any other comments, suggestions, things like that. I always return comments, so thank you for everyone in advance leaving comments. I appreciate everyone that is helping my channel to grow. I hope to continue to grow. Got lots of stuff planned for the rest of the year. Looking forward to it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.